First greeted by a wheel. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's adorable. What does that say? Foreign. Maybe we have a German or Japan after the war. I'm not supposed to be picking up bottles, but look at the top on that one. It's a beautiful colour and I've never seen one with a top like that. Mm. I'll put it in my bag and then if I find lots I can always leave it somewhere safe so someone else can find it. I believe that's going to be a watercolour half pan. Yep, a ceramic one. Rodney, Rodney's Elementary Colours 1. I love it when they have on the back, we should be able to date that pretty easily. It's always said about bottles. <laughs> There's this one and this one. Uh-oh. I think I'm probably going to take them too. I just love the amber colour. That looks interesting. Is it going to be broken? bottle stop is that? I have never seen any that shape. The top's not broken. Sort of looks like a like a mouse or an old film camera. I've never seen a bottle top like that. I absolutely love it and it's such a beautiful colour. I'm gonna pretend it's a, like a mouse. Oh my god, that is what it is, right? It's definitely a bottle stop. It's definitely a bottle stop. Oh, bizarre. oh my goodness, that's my favourite bottles one we've ever found. Even more than the lilac one. <gasps> it's the bottom of a cat. It's definitely a cat's rear and hind leg. <laughs> that could be used for craft. Probably just some broken glass, but it's a beautiful colour. It's orange and it's got like lines, almost like a spider web. Beautiful. Earlier when we were walking I found this military button and I was very excited and then I picked it up and it's all eroded away. Which is a shame, but it could be good for craft. I'm not sure it's quite showing up on camera, but I only spotted this tiny little mother of pearl button because it was shining so incredibly brightly. And this, this, which is like a little glass. It's not quite round. Maybe it used to be a cod marble and it's been really, really warm. No, that's supposed to be like that or not. What that is. It's very round. Right on an old bedstead. It's very ornate. Oh, that's ornate. There they are on the bridge. It's a pagoda, but we don't want the pagoda, we want the bridge. They're all there. of pottery which is perfect for some jewellery. It's perfectly already cut and it's like grass and it looks like it's in a sunset. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm going to make that into a pendant for myself. Is it spatter or splatter? Or I don't remember, but look how beautiful. And some more. Pretty stopper. Look at that. It's Art Deco. If ever I saw ones like Kate's, but not as spectacular. And 
a glass knob. It's quite a nice glass knob too. <laughs> this is the spot apparently. It's a bead! A little white bead. Wow, there's those three things just here. I'll just stick here. I don't think there's anything else there. Some legs. Legs are always good. What does that say? Yeast fight. Oh, that's so cute. I don't really like... Oh, wow, the waves have gone mad. Where are they coming from? Oh, that boat? Surely not. Wow. There's a nice little bottle that says yeast fight. I might take it even if it's screwed up. I might better find a top for it. Wow. <laughs> I've just spotted this completely, oh well, I assume it's natural. Someone may have done it, but the sand's pretty difficult to do. But look, he's so happy. I have found a lot of buttons today. Oh, that one's a bit melty. Oh. Oh, oh no, it's just a stone. That's the same color, is it? Look, what a shame. Good for craft, but where's the rest of you, little fella? Okay, my tile collection is growing, and that is absolutely beautiful. Now I need to find somewhere to tile. Oh, it's a flower, and it's my favorite colors. Whoa. Does that? It's difficult to see. Does that look like two tiny feet? I think it is. I think that's two tiny feet. Oh, I wonder what that would have been off. That is so adorable. <gasps> oh, 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 I've blocked the sun. Is this going to be like a first for me? Is this going to be... Oh, oh my goodness, it's a bead. But it's a beautiful decorative tiny bead. Oh, gosh. A bead! Oh, that's so excellent. Oh my goodness, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's not going to be another one of those days, is it? What's that? Is that another bead? <laughs> Two beads, a beautiful red faceted bead. Oh, if I'm sorry if you don't like us finding bead, because it seems at the moment that's one of the only things we're able to find. A bead! But... I absolutely love them. Is that an unusual button? Oh! No. Oh, I think possibly a hat pin. Is that the residue left from what, the hat pin inside? Oh, I don't know, but it will make a wonderful cabochon. And just over here, I see this, which is metal and incredibly thin. Um, wool? Wool? Hmm. Again, not sure what it is, but brilliant for crafting. <laughs> okay. I've suddenly found myself looking at the really tiny things, and this is really tiny. I'm on a beach where you can find whole bottles galore, and I am looking at... This tiny... This jewel. This tiny, clear... Jewel. I'm terrified I'm going to drop it and I can't touch my hand is shaking. We just met um two lovely um some a subscriber and her lovely husband. Uh, so if you're watching, hello Tessa and Ed. Um we it was lovely to meet you. And I hope you had a uh, good luck. button oh I've, that's a never repel button and I've not sort of seen one like that before oh it's so shiny oh I found some very beautiful little things today I find so many buttons and I do have a plan I'm going to embellish an item of clothing with all of these buttons I think <laughs> and when I say I'm finding a lot of buttons I mean I'm finding a lot of buttons Oh no, not another button hoard. 
Look, I've walked way up the beach, way up the beach. And there's another one. <gasps> Little jewel. Oh my goodness. <gasps> These are always excellent for crafting and this one's tiny. They make really good bases for things. It's going to be a hole insulated then, but I've never found a hole one, but it's broken. Bit of a terracotta pear or a mane. That's cool. That will come in handy for sure. Mason's okay sauce. A lot of those around. I <laughs> just knew it. I knew it. Look. I knew I couldn't escape it. Sorry, it's in the shade. It's a tiny, look at that arm. It's a very, yay, I'm very muscly. Oh, <laughs> I want more. <laughs> That's a lovely, what's your name? You're gonna be on film. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Charlotte just gave me this. I'm in the shade. That's amazing. You could just put a head straight on that. Huh. That's so cute. I just found an arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're doing it again. Mum's got an arm. I'm showing her my beautiful bead. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Beautiful. It's a baby arm. That's a little chubby baby arm. And isn't oh, my what arm is it? Left or right? Right. It was left. One. There always need left, and we we don't have any like that. But isn't my bead beautiful? It is beautiful. You're doing quite well. We are. <laughs> Another arm! <laughs> oh, Mum just threw her to her tool. Oh my goodness! That's a left arm! Is it? That's oh. a left arm! Oh my goodness! <gasps> They're okay. giving us all the limbs to make things in lockdown. lockdown. This is our last lockdown. Last lock before oh. lockdown. And this was our first lock of the year. Of 2020. This place, not this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! That's just. Wow. A bead! Oh, I found one white. Oh That's such God. a funny flat bead and it's such a beautiful colour. I really didn't think it was going to be another bead day. <laughs> Many bead days. Okay, so mum's just pointed out this amazing tiny little bottle and that's my bead. I spotted it first. I spotted it first. I spotted it first. Sorry everyone, but again, it's a beautiful decorative one. Look at it. It's beautiful. It goes with a white one, I think. It no, it's slightly it's different pattern. This oh. one tiny looks like a tiny grenade. Oh. oh, different, different <laughs> views, different. That's like the Rorschach test right there. You said it looks like a lovely basket. I think it looks like a grenade. <laughs> There's something about your... But look, but at, look that at that bottle. Wow, oh. okay. Mum's just stuck, just pulled out. She didn't film it because she thought it was broken. I think it's a prism. It's like a chandelier, I think. Look at it. Wait, let's put it where there's water. Just here. Oh, look at that little jar. Little... Oh, cheers a bar, yeah. Vaseline. Yeah. Wow. Bar. Oh my goodness, it is a giant, it's a giant, chandelier, giant drop. chandelier drop. It's got the little... I love this beach. It's so beautiful. <gasps> it's like ice. Maybe involved in something Christmassy. And I think Mama's just found another one. It's like lines a on little... it. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. They're like icicles. Good for Christmas. <gasps> So um, my dad is here today and obviously you know he doesn't like to be in films and he does it really bad luck but he went for a bit of a walk and he came back and he had found us some things. He found us this a cat and a dog. This cat and a dog. Black cat and a dog. It's amazing. <laughs> he found this tiny little goose. This tiny goose next to a basket. And this 
Chucky Chef's head. <laughs> he found Chucky his first head. He found his first head. Now we just need Harry to find a head. <laughs> and Oscar. But look at him. I'm going to go wash him. Dad has also just found this top of a green glass bottle stop and he described it as a glass lozenge. <laughs> it's so satisfying and would be great for craft. Is that a bone bead? Um, button? No, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's baker like. No, it's not. Well, it's beautiful, whatever it is. I think it might just be a tiny really button. Really in the sun. I know. Sorry. Be a tiny, tiny button? I think that is a tiny and now I've button. Lost a bead. Oh. That's a tiny, beautiful little like, pearlescent amber um, but button and a blue bead. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like I said earlier, if you're, if you're bored of beads, <laughs> it's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Oh my god. It is whole and undamaged. That's really oh my goodness. And it's. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll stop. And it's my favourite colour! Oh. That is the most amazing marble I've ever found. I didn't know what I thought that was when I bent down. But it's glass! It's a beautiful little, like, yellow glass rod. The little red bobble at the end. I have absolutely no idea what that is, but it is beautiful. It's so bright. Pig bead. You can't escape the beads. Beads in the arms. <laughs> and the barbels, seemingly. What's that? Just a tiny piece of glass. Tiny broken button. First button I've found. But it's tiny. Oh no, it's not. It's the second button I've found. Mum missed it. It's an arm! It could be a left or a right. It's ambiguous. Oh, look. It's beautiful. And look at this little glass. Oh my goodness, I found one like that, but the end, just the end bit. Oh my goodness. Is that a bead? No. I think that arm could be a Cupid arm, a little one, because Cupid's do this, don't they? They do do that. They do that, and that's what their arms are doing. We wow. might have found a Cupid arm. The bead, oh, the big clay the white big one. one. Okay, I think we've definitely got our bead eye in. <laughs> Another bead. Exactly the same as one I found before. Beautiful little button. So I bent down to find something, but I've just turned over and look. Oh, it's a key. It's a keyhole cover. Thing. That's beautiful. And I think this is going to be a beautiful glass. Oh, it's not a beautiful glass it's button. Glass it's just a round thing. glass ring. But oh, that's a good. There you missed. Oh, did I? Oh. <laughs> oh, what's that? Nothing. <laughs> Oh, I could be here forever, but we can't. It's a big lens. Very magnifying lens. And another one of those glass rings. They really look like like a hard sucking sweet, don't they? I wonder what they are. They don't appear to be broken. Beautiful though, they're all bubbly. It's a very pretty shell. Look at that. It's like a cowrie <gasps> oh shell. Oh my goodness! A flower, a flowy one. Wow! Why is it knobbly? I don't know. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, now we're going to find something excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! 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 Is it? 
Oh my gosh, that is one of the most amazing beads I have ever found. Look at the size of it. Oh, that's very Art Deco. Isn't it? <gasps> I love beautiful. it. It looks like it, it was going to be a real struggle to... Oh no, we can get the bead string through there. It's like a cane. Yeah, like a they would have... Glass. <gasps> wow. Two buttons next to each other. This one and this one. Two very different ones. It's half a beautiful red bead. Oh. Oh. Oh, Good for craft though and jewellery. It is. It's like a big long seed bead. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's stripy. Oh, is it? Is it? I don't know, but it's a beautiful colour. Wow, we're having just excellent bead luck. Dad has just come up and he's found this, which probably would have had like a pin there and there would have been lots of them, like a mini fan sort esque thing. I think it's just cellu celluloid. It's beautiful. I think I can already tell that it's broken, but I think that's another broken bead. It is. It's a broken, another broken bead. I love that bead. <laughs> it's yellow, but it's yellow. Oh. Cabochon or bead, uh, Mum's just found it. Um, it's a cabochon. Oh, it's a beautiful cabochon. <gasps> oh wow, my goodness, it's such a beautiful ones. colour. So many cabochons today. <laughs> Mum's just found this. Oh my goodness! It's for you! It's a lid! It's a but K. it says K! I might make that into like a necklace or, or a ring. Oh, a ring, a would, ring be would be amazing. And it's a K! I never find a case. Oh! And it's green! It's beautiful. Oh, it's definitely going to become a ring. Okay! Look! There's another one! What, another yeah, but this one's probably the same colour, but it's sort of brownie. <laughs> Set. And I, <laughs> yeah. If there's anyone else? Earrings. <gasps> I could make K earrings. <sighs> Are those someone's feet? I think they are. I think that's someone's feet. Someone's um, been busy recently, possibly today. <laughs> wow. Are you a marble? I think it probably I is. think that could be. Oh, I'm going to go wash it. Oh my goodness. It's green. It's green! It's green! Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. It must be a big green marble. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. But hey, it's a plastic jack. It's like the modern version what, of the ones that coffee would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. And this weird claw. I can't tell what it's made out of. Actually, I think it, it is glass. Oh, look at that, Mum. Look at this bead. Hey. <laughs> Handy source. <laughs> I love these lids. I'm collecting them. They're very good for craft. Hmm. I think we should go home. And then I looked over and there's a really big white bead. Oh, that's beautiful. And the sun's going down. So 
so yeah that was it that was our last lock uh, our last lark before lockdown and it was an amazing day it was absolutely excellent it's we're doing a beautiful day the sun is just starting to go down we've met loads of wonderful subscribers it seems like this beach was full of People that, people, that, <laughs> people that watched our channel. It was, it was just such a lovely, wonderful day. And I've just touched the lapel. It was just such a lovely, wonderful day. And yeah, we're just um, we're going to walk back now. Bye. So we went back to a beach that we've been to a few times, but this was definitely the most things that we've found there. Um, Kate got stuck in the mud there once. <laughs> she didn't get stuck in the mud this time. I didn't think we even went near the mud. No, I, I dressed in a boiler suit expecting <laughs> it to be very muddy. It wasn't. Uh, what's your favourite find? Oh, that's really hard. I've got a couple. Probably the bottle stop. It's just, it's a beautiful colour. I've not found a bottle stop like that. And as you saw in the film, it is um, a apothecary bottle. And it would have been, um, it's a drip by drop. And it probably would have been, um, ana like for anaesthesia. And it would have been um, chloroform, most likely. So yeah, you would have... Why would they have a heart on the top of it? Oh, it's just to hold it, to spin it. But it looks like a heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it would have been designed to let out just the right amount of to put someone under before surgery. I think that's the idea. So pretty and it's so deserving so... at the same time. Well, no, no, it's a wonderful thing. You know, before though, you know, yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's very. I imagine it's a, a thing to get very easily wrong. And yeah, it would have meant people, hopefully, yeah, you know, got to be put out for surgeries. But this sort of, uh, the fact that it's hot then is even yes. slightly appropriate. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice colour. Beautiful It does colour. look like a chicken. It doesn't. It looks like a mouse or an old film camera. But it's... It looks like a rooster. <laughs> oh, possibly, yeah. Yeah, okay. But yes, I absolutely love it. I'm not sure we have a bottle that fits it, but we'll oh. find one. Oh. Um, I found a I like a little Art Deco one too. Little ground glass stopper. This is cute mm -hmm. for perfume. But my favourite find would be my child's doll's plate. That's like one of the first things I found. It's probably dating from after 1940. It's marked foreign on the back. Um, yeah. It's got leaves on it. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. It's bisque. It's bisque. It's Go in the doll's house. Doll's plate. Yeah, we'll probably film on the wall. It in the doll's house. On the wall, yeah. yeah. I also really, really like my two marbles. Your marbles are amazing. Mm -hmm. But I think probably the two best marbles I've ever found. This one, uh, the brown one. This one? Yeah. Um, is absolutely beautiful. It's almost like tiger's eye, isn't it? Hmm. And it's got a swirl. I was supposed to. It's got a pontoor, isn't it? Yeah, I need to do a little bit of research. I, sh I, sh I didn't think. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. I'll do some research after this about that type of marble. But it's stunning. And yeah, then... I've never seen a brown marble. No. And then that one is a big green one. And it's such a deep green that you can't really tell unless you hold it up to the light. And then when you hold it up to the light, you see that it's the most glorious green colour. I'd say it was a green cob marble, but I don't it's a know. Bit, I know, I've already, it's a bit big. It's is too it? big, um, yeah. 
But it's not big enough to be a shooter marble, is it? No, it's odd. We have a little book about marbles, but I haven't read all of it yet, and I can't think of... But yeah, again, I'll maybe do a little bit of research. Yeah, two beautiful marbles. We found limbs, which is quite exciting. We found four find... arms. And I think this arm's probably from a Cupid doll or a Google Eye doll, the way it's made. Um, what are they, left arms, right arms? One of them's left arm, isn't it? Yeah, I think one's a left arm and two are right arms. Obviously, because we find mainly this one's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it could be either. Ambiguous. But yeah, China body doll arms are very good. Yeah, we have a left arm, so we will definitely be using that in a video in the new year. They're all like 1920s to 40s, maybe. A lovely lady called Charlotte. Charlotte, she gave me this body, and I think it's a little clown. Look mm. at the little pom poms on his it's feet. Tea. But it's... then my husband found this chef's head. We haven't shown what he looks like. And look how well he cleaned look up. Look how dark his lipstick is. <laughs> He's so adorable. But look how good he looks on the body. It's like a clown chef. It's like a little clown chef. <laughs> So I'm going to put that head on that. It seems very appropriate and it seems very fitting. So we'll be keeping little clown chef. Thank you pom -pom. very, very much, Charlotte. It's a little luster. It's a luster wear. Mm. Yeah. So watch, watch out for that being made. My husband also found this, which is beautiful. Look at the little goose. <laughs> or duck or... Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> um, he also found this. <laughs> and I don't know what the black is. I'm slowly getting rid of the black. I don't know if the black was supposed to be on there intentionally or if it was burnt. But it comes off quite easily for something that was supposed to... I don't know. But look at their faces! <laughs> He's Very cool for Halloween. So mischievous. Mm -hmm. Um, and we found lots of beads, obviously, because we always find lots of beads. But there's a beautiful. I mean, this is a stunning bead. That is so Art Deco. It's beautiful. I can imagine a flapper wearing that. A long string of them. It's glass. It's like a glass rod that probably would have been cut down. It's amazing. And then a few cabochons and um, gems. It's like a glass gem. Look at this bead. This is another glass rod bead, a long one. Amazing colour. Kate found a decorative one. And then this one. The yellow one. Which I I'm glowing. Have we tried the UV on these? No, I tried it on the green marble. Shall There's I just also do it my little quickly? blue one. My decorative blue one. Ooh. 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 <gasps> How's that? Oh work, my then? goodness, it's... it is UV. But it's white. Is it just shining like that because it's white? But there's other white ones in there. Yeah, no, look, doing it. look. That is definitely. Definitely. Ah. Oh my that makes it word. doubly amazing. That was my favourite bead and now that's really my favourite bead. It must be uh, yeah. yeah. It must be, yeah. Wow. 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 Your big hand in the way. Sorry. <laughs> well, it's worthy of turning on the little yes. lips, then, yeah. And these strange um glass rings that are nicely worn and they just look like someone sucked on a mint polo for a bit <laughs> too long. I'm not sure the Americans would know what polo is. It's like it's like a clear round mint that comes in a different shape but when you suck on them a long time in your mouth and then take them out they end up looking a bit like that. <laughs> and that, yeah I think yeah I'm going to make something out of those. I like those a lot. And my yeah my little blue one. Yeah you yeah, can sort of see that it's slightly greeny actually now looking at it. Yes, very cool. One, yeah, we absolutely love beads, and it was a wonderful bead day. It was a good bead day. It was also a good button day. Mm. <laughs> and there's a lot of buttons, Gl um, glass, bone, 
mother of pearl always good buttons buttons and collar studs there's loads of collar studs i think that's because it's sort of a slightly later dump and i think in like the 1940s they used a lot of collar studs in their collars I think we've got to think of some crafts to use those yeah. in, don't we? The collar stud hedgehog or something. Oh, yeah. Oh. And my tiny little cowrie shell. And, and what were you going to uh, say? This glass rod that looks like the blue bead. But that's too long for a bead. It's hollow well, all the way through. Not necessarily. Like on Christmas decorations, you get like mm. mercury beads and they have like this long, yeah. uh, long bits like that. They do. It's a possibility. Maybe we'll put them in the beads. Should we put them on a bead string? Yeah. <laughs> and some length. <laughs> um, and then my chandelier drops. Look at these. This is amazing. Yeah, so the, the, the Northern's Mudlucks, um, they showed like an example of it being on, like a, being on a gas lamp and the light would have diffused through them and twinkled. It could be off that or it could be off the I chandelier. think it's a bit big, isn't it? No, they were quite big. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that's quite a crazy thing to just pick up out the sand. Mm -hmm. And then next to it was a tiny one. With like little serrated markings on it. A little bit of hole there. So it might have been, a, you know, mm -hmm. around the top or the same thing, maybe. Normal glass bottle stops, one that's quite nicely worn. Uh, my green lozenge is elsewhere at the moment. This, I think, might be... It looks like um, a thing they would have written there, like a dance card. Oh. It's the, the, I don't know if they would, well, I suppose they did have dance cards, but they would have had like a little, little, little thing, and there would have been a few of them, and then they would have pulled it out, and they would have had a pen that was tied to it too, or a pencil, and then the person would have written on it, and then they would that's have wiped really it off. That's really cool. I think that's what it is. That's really, really cool. How cool is that? That's amazing. A little celluloid dance card. A little what? Celluloid. <laughs> celluloid. You said celluloid. I didn't. Celluloid. Well, it's filmed, <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Some amber bottles. Some of these we are collecting amber bottles for um, someone. My mum. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so clear ones. Look, some of the lids fit, which is cool. This is... Um, Yeast fight. Like yeast fight. I think they thought yeast was very good for you, for children. Unfortunately, the lid broke a bit when I washed it. Mm. But we've got a few of these. Mm hmm. Got loads of them. Yeah. I didn't think of something to do with them. This one's going to be turned into something, isn't it? Mm hmm. And then there was this one. I can't clean it. It's too, the hole is too small. I cannot clean it. It's just a real shame. I found something earlier that I actually might do that. Okay. Because it would be amazing to find a little lid for that. Um, talking of lids, um, collecting lids, as I've said before, some of these are amazing. Though. This one's called Handy Sauce. Handy Sauce. <laughs> it's a handy sauce. Um, this one is Dettol, mm -hmm. which is still in use today. This cap measures tablespoons. It's a tablespoon. Ooh. I'll find a ball that that fits, and then I think this one's Dettol too. Mm -hmm. These are all 1940s, I'd say. That one doesn't say anything. But they're all cool. I, you know, how much difference a screw top bottle makes with the lid, mm -hmm. with a lid. I think it's beautiful, and it's it's very immeasurably usable now. And then Kate's little lids <laughs> that say, "Oh, does it fit on the tiny one?" Oh no, it's no. too small. No. Duh. But it says K. Two Ks. Then I will be making into some jewellery for myself. Uh, bottle stop. Just dimples. Um, some feet. <laughs> Struck by lightning again. This, I don't know what this is. It looks like a claw. It does look like a claw. Or like a dog standing on its hind yeah, legs. Yeah, it's like well, like a um, yeah, like a yeah. Minotaur's leg. No, yeah. is it Minotaur? Uh, cent uh, um, <laughs> Satyr is Satyr? the goat. Is the ones of goat legs. Yeah. Satyr, yeah. But I'm sure we can do something with him. Just put or a head. Fawn. Fawn. Satyr or fawn. Fawn. But we could just put a head on it. Mm-hmm. 
<gasps> That'd be really cool. That'd be really creepy. <laughs> yeah, be cool. It's a uh, black keyhole cover with gold embellishments. And strangely enough, they're very useful for craft. I'm going to sneaky peek of something. <gasps> You're going to sneaky peek? Sneaky peek of one that I used to make this angel. Oh, in the be... Madness film. Oh, Quick, put it away, put it away, else they okay, won't watch the okay, film. Okay. <laughs> um, miscellaneous body parts, some wheels. I found a wheel, Kate found a wheel. Uh, there's some hair, two hairs too. This one says Japan on the back. I'm, I'm really intrigued to know what that would have been like. I must it's it a doll's head, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. It would have been beautiful. A bit of a lemon. <laughs> Top part of a doll's face. Ooh. It might come in very handy though. Um, the Willow Bridge people. Part of a castle. Oh, this I got. I picked this up because this is what the modern, well, not the modern, modern. I'd say this is probably forties again, but the moderner equivalent of a gobby. So this is a plastic version of probably the knuckle have bones. The gobby. Probably should have the gobby here. Oh wait, there's one in a roundup that we haven't filmed yet. So, so yeah, this is um, from a film that hasn't that we filmed months ago that we haven't put up or filmed the roundup yet. This is the you know. The, the modern version and the old version. This, these you would have thrown up in the air and caught with a, a ball too. Same as these. So that's why I picked that up because it seemed relevant. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of lenses, which will one day make something out of. Beautiful glass. Actually, I'm going to just do this. No. A bit of art glass. It's a shame Spatter it's not, glass. not worn down more, but it's not sharp. No. But it's not worn down completely yet. Don't look at the eyes. The eyes. They be eyes. They do look like, <laughs> yeah, like antenna. <laughs> Alien or snail. But yeah, that was all we found, I think. And it was amazing. And it was a lovely day. And we're going to go back. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. And... Um, mud must start tomorrow. Well, mud must starts today, I suppose. Yes, this is technically the first video of mud because we did the maths wrong. <laughs> we thought we were going to put one up um, on Saturday, on the twelfth, because we thought that that was twelve days until Christmas, but it wasn't. It was thirteen. Um, but yesterday, for you, tomorrow for us is um, Mum's birthday. <laughs> so it's probably good we didn't put a film up because we're going to be uh, mud -locking. celebrating. <laughs> So yeah, um, first Mudmus film up tomorrow. We have to say a massive thank you to everyone that has donated and commented and watched and liked and subscribed. And sent us things. Yes, we have a film, aren't yes, we? Yes, we've had a couple of gifts recently which are just wonderful and we're going to do um, thank you in a film coming up. But yes we, yes, we are, we, we have... Receive them and they are wonderful. It's crazy. It, yeah. It's a, yeah. So yeah. Um, we'll, it's, we'll, Can I just say something about comments? I, I just want to say that we do read every comment and every comment is really important to us. But it, especially now, trying to make mud mess, it's just like 12 films in a row. We haven't got much time and I try to answer them as best I can, but it might be a little bit delayed. But tr truly believe we read every single comment and it's amazing. Sometimes we go back and reread them, don't we? If we're feeling a bit sad, we'll go back and... <laughs> so yeah. don't think I'm ignoring you or that it doesn't mean anything to us because it means a lot. Mm -hmm. It's just th th time. It's just time. Yeah. Do I just want to say that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, it feels weird to say, but we'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.
I was trying to see if you could hear that when the waves go out it makes a clinky noise and I wasn't going to pick up this little guy but he was moving about and now he's not and I'm not going to take him because I, I don't need him but I am going to leave him somewhere so he doesn't get smashed up in the next um, the next wave just because he didn't, he, it was like he was sat there saying please pick me up so I'm going to put him somewhere protected I'll leave him in the grass and then maybe a mudlark in the future will find him all nice and whole <laughs>